Hello, everybody. This is a YouTube video that we are creating that lets us show to you how to create this little structure here that we call a printing. We think of it the same way that <clears throat> when an artist takes canvas and paint and brushes and creates something, we call it a painting. This structure was created using three-dimensional direct metal printing techniques. And so we've decided that we will call this object a printing. We have <clears throat> placed a hand on the screen holding the object to give some indication of what the size is. If we look at <clears throat> the size of our hand, from the tip of the fingers down to the wrist is essentially six and a half inches and that seems about right for a hand and the hand is about three and a half inches wide and that also seems right for a hand so if we look at <clears throat> this little structure that we are wanting to talk about we will see that it's essentially one and a half inches across At this point, we will switch our um, measurement system over to metric because these sizes get so small that it's going to be easier to talk about this with metric measurements. And the other issue that we want to bring up is that you can see that this structure has a lot to it. On this side of the structure, you can see a cover or a lens. This is a sapphire lens that protects the inside workings of the device and keeps it from being scratched and keeps stuff from being damaged. If we look at the other side of this device, that lens is not showing because what we <clears throat> discovered was trying to look at this with the lens in place, the lens makes it a little bit blurry. We did add some color and opacity to the lens so that you can see where the lens is. If the lens is completely and totally transparent, then as you try to look at where the lens is and the effect of the lens, you can't see it. And that's why the lens has these characteristics, but in terms of looking at the printing that we want to talk about it makes it more difficult to see it because the lens adds this color effect because we made the lens not totally transparent on the other side of this printing there would also be a lens present but we haven't shown that lens and the effect of that is it makes it much clearer to see and much easier to see. So as we get ready to start talking about this, we're actually going to be talking about it with the lens absent. So we can take a look at a different version <clears throat> again in this uh, version we've removed the hand so that it's easier to see structures and it allows us to focus on just the printing and now we're going to take this lens structure and move it back a little bit to show the lens pulled away from the printing. Here is the lens, here is the printing. Again, you'll notice that we've given some color to the lens and we've given some opacity to the lens because if it was completely colorless and non-opaque and transparent, you couldn't see it. We would have a lot of trouble talking about it. The real lens in the real printing will be completely clear, optically clear, optically transparent. This is made from sapphire.